Welcome to the 5 Minute Frenzy, your weekend rewind. We're your hosts, I'm May, and I'm Kay, and we're here to let you know any and everything because we're the knowers. Not only are we the knowers, we are the importers because we are live at Central Steps, which is located at 4518 South Cottage Grove. And now I know you're wondering, you've been on location before, what makes Central Steps so important? Well, this is the official reception for the Jay-Z and Beyonce wedding. Oh my God. We're here. Okay, we're, we're here. here. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. We're good. We're special? Okay, okay. Okay, shh. Hmm. Where's our timer? Where's the timer? Oh, Emily. <laughs> oh, Beyonce does it so big, doesn't she? Wow, the Darren, Darren Shoes. Shoe. She shipped on these a silver platter. Two sensual steps all the way from New York. Thank wow. you, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> special edition of Sensual Steps. All right, so you know how the show works. Right. We take the timer, give ourselves five minutes, and we just talk about any and everything. Everything. And we're off. All right, so our first story, of course, is the Jay-Z and Beyonce wedding. Yes. Okay, Jay-Z and Beyonce were married on Friday night. Mm -hmm. The ceremony was followed by a lavish party at Jay-Z's Tribeca apartment. apartment. But we know where the party really is. All right, so in attendance, of course, was her mother, Tina Knowles, her father, Matthew, of course, her sister, Solange, hey, Michelle, Mich Michelle, Kelly, everybody, when a Paltrow was in attendance, and of course, <laughs> The we're noise. In okay. All right. Other than that, Beyonce was not photoed at all by paparazzi. She was smuggled she in wreck. to the reception area in the back of a moving truck. Jay Z came through the front. A couple of pictures got taken of him, but that's about it. Right. Um, the two were married by Beyonce's longtime pastor, and of course, everybody had to wear white. Of course. Yeah. So her longtime pastor wear. married them, and. <laughs> There is another pastor that thought that he was going to be able to do this wedding, but after all of his outlandish remarks, they said, no, he's not going to be our preacher. This guy is the Honorable James David Manning of the Atlet World he's Ministry. Let me quote you about him talking about Obama. Obama is a mad daddy. Obama pimps white women and black women. You didn't notice him until he brought out those big chested white women with their tight t-shirts and their short pants. That's what a pimp does. Oh, come on. Now, if you're looking at the congregation on the YouTube, okay, you have to go check. You have to check it out. Okay, Not that I support him, but it's crazy. It's crazy. The whole congregation is like, like, what? What is our pastor talking about? Nobody clapped. Can Nobody I transfer my membership right now? Immediately. And if he's talking, the reason why he's talking about some no one's paying attention to these big chested white women is because there's a girl on YouTube called the Obama Girl right. who has a video called I Got a Crush on Obama that she did in June 13th some little of stool. 2007. But I mean, Obama has nothing to do with that. People can do what they want to do. But everybody hates Obama. One of the newest haters on, huh. on Obama. Hey. Hey Snoop, how are you? Uh, hey Snoop, love your show. We the twist? love your Who show. Who does your twist? That looks great. I tell my daughter. I don't have a daughter. My name. <laughs> anyway, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What's up to you? Okay. Snoop has been hating on Obama. He's upset because he heard that the KKK donated money to Obama. He's so upset he used the N word to describe Obama. He's definitely a Hillary supporter. I don't know. I don't like Snoop right now. I'm not feeling him because you know we no. all are Obama lovers. We love Obama. Hey, hey Snoop. <laughs> hey, Snoop. <laughs> yeah. Do your double G. Right. Don't but in more hater news. Um, <laughs> hey, Kelly. <laughs> hey, Michelle. You guys are so tight. So tired. beautiful in the wedding. I can't hmm. believe. They really they think that they're tight, but uh. They don't know that last week Kelly released a, um, new her new album Miss Kelly, and then the week after that Michelle just released her new single We Break It Down. And, and both happened. those weeks Beyonce, Beyonce had leaked. Songs leaked. They had some song leaks. Wow. Around. We really think it's up to them. She's kind of hating on that shine. Hey girl, Beyonce will be on the back. Just like us. Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, hmm. cute. Guess who else is trying to sneak in the door? Uh. But Bob, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Brown, King of Army. Bobby, get your okay. lips together. Okay, let me tell you what you're talking about right now. He's, hey. hey. <laughs> okay, so Bobby has his tell all book coming out, right? In the tell all book, he's dropping big names. Janet Jackson. He claims that Janet Jackson is the one who turned him into an alcoholic. What? Who believes that? <laughs> you better get in. He, he said, five, four, can't three. 
Oh, okay. Before I met Janet, I would never drink hard liquor. I only drank beer. But after I break up, I started drinking hard liquor abundantly. Well, yeah, everybody that would be like drinking if they got dumped by Janet. What? I mean, you kind of did the okay. biggest chick. Well, last name, he dated Madonna. <laughs> And the biggest quote of the night, I never used cocaine until after I met Whitney. Come on, man. Experiment with other drugs. Marijuana was not my drug of choice. What? Do y'all believe that? I think his lip was hanging before he even got with Whitney. Right. Please. You didn't... Whitney put you on the No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cassie, look who they let in. Who? That's your boy. Huh? Hey, 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 you look so nice. I love your new song. He don't got no new song. No new song? Right, because Kanye killed you last time. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to Kanye. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. You know what? Fifty. Looking all happy. Looking all happy. Why is he looking happy? Because he just won his court battle against his baby mama, Shaniqua. Shaniqua, and you got a baby. Fifty cent got a baby mama. Shaniqua. Shaniqua. Now, what's going on with Shaniqua? Shaniqua has her man, her other son, and her and Fifty son living in the house. Well, Fifty we wants them there. gone. Right. He wants them gone. Matter of fact, he doesn't want them gone. They are gone. The judge ruled they had to leave. The judge took out. her child support down from twenty-five thousand dollars a month. To six thousand or seven hundred. Sheesh! Now the original plan was Shaniqua could stay there as long as she continued to look for another place. Oh! <laughs> there it is. We're oh, about to get. Ooh. Oh, thank Beyonce. Oh, Emily. Thank they, you. they do it big up in here. Mm. Hold on. Ooh. Mm. Let's have a toast. Ooh. Let's have a, have a toast for Central Steps who's celebrating their third year anniversary, April the twenty-sixth. Come down. And celebrate them free food, free drinks. Starting at 10 a.m. The place is beautiful. It's so chic. It's just so girl. You're just so at home. Yeah, it's like the, the north side. She picked take. the best place Didn't to have she? a reception. She sure did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beyonce, we'll be there in a second, okay? God, we will leave the let Well, they want to take our pictures. Mm-hmm. The let you slide. It's a little trip. Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. All right. <laughs> See you all next week. There it is.